for speaking to Al Jazeera. Now, I understand that these two resignations are not high-profile figures within the SNC, but nonetheless, it's a, another sign of a split within your movement. Why is it so difficult for the Syrian National Council to get, it, get, to get its act together? I should say that one of them is high-profile uh, um, leader within the SNC, uh, Haytham al Malih. Uh, I would say that, and they have expressed themselves, they are frustrated with the pace of, of progress. Uh, we understand that. It has been slow. Uh, last week there was a meeting to uh, ensure that the offices that are uh, specialized in different areas within the SNC are well financed and able to function. So there are efforts but to what improve is the, the situation. Is it, a, is it a money issue? What is the, the issue? Is well, it an initially, ideology issue? Initially, well, initially it was uh, a, a mixture of lack of funding and the fact that this is a newly instituted organization. I mean, it was not there just uh, four months ago. So it takes time before the, any new organization to function properly. Uh, and so people are working on it. There are some complaint about the uh, decision-making process. Of course, many of us are not happy with it. We are working to improve it, but some people are more impatient with the pace of, of change. Mm. Well, Lou, I'd like you to take a look at this video that we've received of gunmen, allegedly from the Free Syria Army, engaging in what looks like uh, torture of a pro-Assad thug. So it would appear that uh, it's not only the Assad forces who are committing abuses in Syria. Uh, just your reaction to this video. Are you aware that abuses are also taking place within the opposition, within the groups that are fighting uh, Assad forces? Well, you see very few reports of people uh, committing, uh, using excessive force against opponents. We condemn that. We reject anything like this. I haven't seen this uh, report before. Uh, but um, the Is SNC, it widespread? Not really. I mean, that's my point. We have very little, few reports, and we have condemned that, and we have, uh, we have communicated with the, with the Free Syrian Army that this is unacceptable. In fact, our position at this point is not to go on the attack, but to defend uh, themselves and to defend civilian uh, uh, and population centers. Right. Now, Thursday marks one year since the protest movement began in Syria. Uh, against Bashar al-Assad. Um, nearly 10,000 people have been killed in a year. Idlib, as we've seen, is back under government control. Homs has been crushed. From your viewpoint, being the opposition, is it still worth it today with 10,000 killed and Assad not showing any signs of going anywhere? It has been very painful. Uh, we never expected the regime to be uh, this inflexible and... Uh, uh, using uh, excessive force beyond our imagination. But there is, there is no return. I mean, uh, Syria need, needs change. Uh, and we were hoping that the government will understand that they seem to be hanging on to power at any cost, but fortunately the cost will be high, but the revolution will continue and the regime will fall. Okay, thank you very much, Louis Safi, for